Well, according to a report on iNews Source, an internal audit of the San Diego Association of Governments revealed some shocking information about spending. The audit shows taxpayers footed the bill for meals and other extras on non-working days, including work days, for SANDAG staff and SANDAG leaders to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond, who represents District 5, joins us now with his take on this report. Hi, Supervisor. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Logan. Uh, great, be, great to be here. Thanks. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? I've been reading through some of the report. Um, they talk about spending. Um, I believe it, uh, let me just try to get the numbers here. Well, it was about $250,000 over four years at these exotic restaurants, on, and it was on non-working days. What do you think about that? Well, you know, it, it, the, the unfortunate thing, and I think the real problem, is the lack of receipts or, or lack of accountability or even having guidelines and, and you know for for the use of the credit cards and so it, it was really found that the uh, proceed they were they were lacking procedures and lacking the systems in place to, to keep track of these expenses some of them seem outrageous and, and some seem legit but you can't really tell them without receipts then everybody you know goes to goes to the worst but you know not by not having those controls in place and, and the controls that they did have in place I think they had a thirty five hundred dollar limit they were just being exceeded and nobody was was making any taking it into any account until the internal internal auditor brought this all of this to light and it really comes down to you know here's this agency it's our transportation agency the biggest agency one of the biggest agencies in san diego county that handles all our roads all of our transportation the on ramps the off ramps rail and, and the uh, uh trolleys all those things are come underneath this umbrella and the fact that they don't have the controls in place for their credit cards well, while they're handling billions of dollars for transportation and transportation systems, to me, just doesn't paint a good picture. Uh, I, and I understand after this audit came out, Sandag is going to be putting those controls in place that they already should have had. <clears throat> but it's just kind of scary that uh, if they don't have these controls in place and they, or they were ignoring them, what are they doing to our billions of dollars that are supposed to be going to transportation? And I'm reading as part of the report during the three month period, people were being laid off work. The unemployment rate was as high as 31 um, percent. You know, they're talking about taxing us for each mile that we drive. I mean, all these other things. And they're, you know, and they're out at all these restaurants um, really spending some incredible amounts of money on steaks and all kinds of things. Um, I mean, what, what are people saying needs to happen as a result? Well, I think, you know, pretty, pretty much that Sanday's got to get its own house in order and, and have the controls in place and enforce those controls and be able to show, okay, here's the receipts. There was no alcohol being spent or, or being bought. You know, filet mignons and lobster bisque and those kinds of things should not have been purchased. I saw that on, on one of the receipts. But there are some legitimate lunches that, you know, you have working business lunches. We all do them. And, and some of those are legit. But if you don't have the receipts to prove that and you don't have the controls in place, uh, then you're going to get hit and you're going to get nicked. And, and, and people aren't going to trust you with your money. And for an agency, like I said, that spends billions and collects, you know, half cent sales tax from every one of us in San Diego County whenever we purchase anything, they need to have those controls in place. They need to get their act together particularly now when they're coming out for a ballot measure and they're asking for more money. Uh, they they want more money for transportation and people are going to say, well, what the heck, you don't even control your own credit card uh, procedures and, and you don't have those those rules in place. How do we know? How, how can we trust you with any more money? The CEO, Hassan Igrata, makes almost $600,000 a year. Uh, we're being told he spent more than 17000 of taxpayer monies over two years on some of these meals. Um, is that reasonable? Do you think he should resign? You know, I, I, without enough information, I can't say, I can't say whether he should resign or not. But you know, it's just one thing on top of another, on top of another. That you know, Sandakes make promises and don't fulfill them, and this is just another one, kind of a you know, another slice against uh, Sandag. Um, and so, you know, he is the highest paid uh, um, non-elected person in San Diego County, and uh, he should have his house in order completely. Uh, and as, a, as opposed to what's been shown and what's been explained, you know, just cover yourself and is really, I'm mean, not hide anything, but you know, if you're going to spend this kind of money, have the receipts to back it up. 
Yeah, I mean, I think we know that businesses is often done at restaurants and, and, and these things do happen. It's just at, at what level do you start to think, well, this is getting outrageous? Uh, Supervisor Jim Desmond joining us uh, with more on this. Uh, Supervisor, thanks. Logan, thank you very much. All right, we want to also let you know that we did reach out to Sandag's Executive Director, Hassan Agrata, to come on tonight, talk a little bit about it. He, however, however respectfully declined.